Hello and welcome to MIT USA. My name is Leo Valerio and today we're going to be introducing to you a 22 foot seamer that we just finished and about to ship. And uh, this, th there's some unique features about this 22 foot seamer. One of the things is we have the podium here and here on the podium we have the actual monitor so that we can be able to watch the weld and with the joystick we're able to control left and right movement. Uh, we also have the actual control right here where we're able to store all the different weld schedules. It's also very, you know, operator ergonomically designed so that he can actually move it around and be able to have it at a good level where he's able to operate everything. We have over here the, um, the actual cameras back here. We're using a Cyrus camera and it's actually located in the back. It's a GM, GMAW weld system, so we're actually welding from the latch towards the back of the machine. And the, the, the camera allows the operator to be able to see the weld as it's being performed. We have that feature because sometimes the material is not even, because the actual track is running true to the mandrel within 15 thousandths over its entire length. So, um, but sometimes the sheets are a little bit cattywampus or what have you, so this allows the operator to be able to adjust his weld. We also have the design here where we actually created a pocket for the, uh, the, the alternate um, backup bar. This backup bar here is a stainless steel backup bar, and this will be used to weld aluminum, and the copper backup bar that is inside will be used to weld stainless steel. And, um, you know, we have a, a special system where we're actually wedging the, the, um, the uh, insert into place. It's a new system that uh, we we're kind of introducing so that we can be able to hold the insert nice and tight, but at the same time be able to release it so that we're able to remove it pretty easily. And for that we have a wedge design on the side so that we can release the part and then be able to pull it out. Uh, we also have over here on the side, you can see here the mandrel. The mandrel actually drops four inches. If you're loading a round tube, you want a lot of clearance so that you can be able to keep away from damaging your tube and the backup bar. So we, that's the way the, the mandrel works. So here on the side, we have some roller arms. These roller arms are actually designed in two ways. We have the feeders and we have the rotators. Now the feeders is so that we can be able to load the, the, the tube onto here and be able to push it onto the machine. And the rollers are so that we can be able to hold onto the tube and be able to rotate it and orient it in the direction that we want our weld. The beauty about this system is that everything is off the center. Everything is activated off the center line of the base. So therefore, when these rollers are working, the part is centered. You don't have to worry about one cylinder going, the other one not going, and then the, the whole thing is rocking. And it's a very frustrating thing for the operator to do because he's trying to handle a 22 foot long skin. So that's what's gonna make this really nice. And we'll show you how all of that works later on. We actually, um, we have a local company that was uh, generous enough to loan us one of their tubes so that we can be able to show that handling of this. Also here we have our track, we have our carriage, the wire feeder assembly, everything is mounted on here and as I said everything runs true uh, within 15 thousandths over the entire length. Over here you can see how we ran all of our hydraulics through these steel manifolds here. We try to keep all the hoses off the floor so that that way there's no trip hazards or anything for anyone. We have here the hydraulic reservoir, the water cooler for the mandrel. The mandrel is plumbed also with the, um, the uh, welding gas that will be necessary to, to be able to keep the weld nice and clean. And all of that is automatically turned on if, when the uh, weld starts or prior to the weld starting a few seconds before. Here's our AC lines, everything's in here, our step-down transformers. Over here we have some slave um, uh, uh, regulators, air regulators. Inside of here we have all of our uh, air lines and all of our inner connections for all of the uh, lower voltage electronics. And you can see how clean all of this is. Here we have the uh, power supply. In this particular case, the customer wanted a Miller Auto Continuum, so that's what we have in here. And then also you can see how nice and clean we are underneath as well. Then we have also our uh, edge alignment devices. 
Our edge alignment devices are designed so that they actually travel with the mandrel. When the mandrel goes up and down, they travel with them. And that's because we actually activate them. They're adjustable so that we can get the center line of the, of the weld groove. Once we have that, now the operator actually is able to load a flat sheet in. And then once he loads that sheet in, now he can activate his fingers. Once he activates the fingers, now he withdraws the edge alignment devices. And now he feeds the alternate skin so that he can put them together. Once he puts them together, now he activates the other set of fingers. And at that point, now he's ready to start his weld. So anyway, um, you know, that shows you how this machine actually will work. And we'll go ahead and show you some welds now so you can see what all of that looks like. because the operator is actually walking around the machine trying to line up the material for the uh, flat sheets or the round um, cylinders, it's good for him to have a wireless remote pendant. So that's what th this is for. And here you can actually see how we activate the uh, rollers. So now we're going to show you how the feed rollers and the rotating rollers work. So you can see that we right now have it suspended with the feed rollers and um, we have the remote control right here. So I turn on the pump and now I can go ahead and uh, push it to get it into position. And now I can go ahead and raise up on the um, rotating rollers. You can see that over here. And now I can take, now that they're up, I can take down the feed rollers. I'll take the rotating rollers up just a little bit more. There you go. And now I can go ahead and rotate the part. And, and at that point is where I would be able to line up the seam, but everything is centered, so lining up that seam is a lot easier with those roller assemblies. Some other nice features is everything is attached to the machine. There's no trip hazards around the machine anywhere. Uh, it's all one component. We also are using a laser scanner to be able to mount it um, on the back of the, of the machine so that the operator can be able to turn it on to help him in aligning the center line of the uh, tube so that he can be able to line up his fingers and get everything clamped down. That pretty much surmises everything that, um, that we wanted to show you about the machine. Hope you've enjoyed it. Any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.